on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, Lesson 1, Prepositions and Directions. Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is uh, Teacher Nitai, and now let's welcome my friend. Today's theme is time. Now, before we begin, let's sanitize our hands. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth now your hands and mine are clean we have sanitized rub 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 your hands back inside and forth now your hands and mine are clean we have sanitized now let's remember every time we need to wear our masks and we must maintain our social distance. Today's lesson is the number six and time. Now let's turn to page eight. If we look at page eight, we will find there is number six. And the instruction on top says, color in the six. I would like to invite my friends to come and demonstrate for me how to color in number six, starting from the top. Come, my friend. Start from the top. Yes. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done. Now let's carry on to the next part of the lesson on page nine. Let's look and see what is on page nine. We can see there is number six. And on number six, it shows us exactly how we are supposed to write number six. But before we continue with writing. Let's count the number of dots that we can see. There is one, two, three, four, five, six black dots, which represents number six. Let's look at the apples at the bottom. Let's count the apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. At this time, I would like to invite my friend to take out six beads from the container and thread them into the shoelace. Well done. Now take the shoelace and thread the six beads into the shoelace. One, two, three, 
four. Five. Six. Well done. We have our six beads in the shoelace. That was very well done, my friend. Now, let's get back to our worksheet, page number nine. I'm going to demonstrate to you how we are supposed to form number six. When we write number six, we always go, start from the top, and we go down and round and curly the tummy. We do that once more. We start from the top. We go down and round and curly and we close the gap. Let's do it once more. We start from the top. We go down, curly around its body and we go just like that. Well done, boys and girls. That is how we form number six. Now let's turn to page 10 of our booklet. The instruction that we have right on top of page 10 says, fill in the correct time and choose from the list below. We have all the time listed at the bottom and it says there, what is the time? We should always remember if we look at the worksheet, a clock has one long hand and that long hand is called a minute hand and we have a short hand and that hand is called an hour hand it tells us the number of hours we are going to learn today about a clock how do we read a clock whenever we read the time a clock the long hand which is the minute hand will be pointing at 12 I will show you on my clock on the board here. The long hand is pointing at 12 and that is the minute hand and the short hand, which is the hour hand, is pointing at 8. So what time do you think it is? It is 8 o'clock. If I move the hand the hour hand, what time do we see now? It's nine o'clock. If I move it over to the next number, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock. Right, let's get back to our booklet on page 10. I would like you to complete the work on page 10 you need to fill in the correct time. The times are written right at the bottom of the worksheet. Let's do our work right now. As you have uh, seen on the big clock on page 10, we now know how to show our clock. Let's move on. Let's turn to page 11 of our booklet. On page 11, the instruction reads, fill in the correct time under each clock. Telling the time is the title of the worksheet. The first clock, as I explained before, the long hand, which is the minute hand, is pointing at 12, and the hour hand, which is the shorter hand, is pointing at three. So our time is three o'clock. And that answer has been completed for you. 
Now I would like you to complete the rest of the clocks by writing in the time. Now let's turn to page 12 of our booklet and look at the instructions right on top of the page. The instructions read, count the cakes on the plates and fill in the correct number in the blocks. Now, before we count and fill in the number, Remember, in our previous page, we practiced how to write the number six. We need to uh, join the dots of all the numbers that we see on top and continue writing until the end of the page. Once we are done, let's count and find out how many cookies or how many cakes did the queen bake today? We have to count. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now in the block below the picture of the cookies, we need to write number six. Now continue counting the rest and write number six wherever you find six cookies on the plate. When you are done, we need to move to the next activity just below the line on the same page, on page 12. And the instruction reads, copy the pattern we have six dots in the first block and in the second block it's empty so we need to copy the pattern so we will skip the second block to leave it empty and make six dots in the third block and then we look back to the first picture of the dots. We have our six dots now. What do we do in the next block? The next block should be empty so that the pattern is exactly the same as the one we did before. Now the next dots, in the next block we have, let's count together and see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five. We have five dots in this block. So we need to copy in the next block. Five dots and copy the pattern as it is. And the last one is easy. You need to complete it on your own. Now let's look right at the bottom of the worksheet. It says, fill in the missing number. Let's go to my board. I have a number line on my board. Let's see if we remember how to count. When we count, we always count starting from the left, left. Let's count the first number. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is how we count. Let's go back to our activity in the booklet on page 12. At the bottom of page 12, now we need to fill in the missing number between 5 and 7. Well done. I'm sure you have figured it out. Now let's move on to page 13 of our 
booklet, page 13, it says counting. I will just tell you a very short little story. On the farm, there's a little dog called Bingo. Bingo likes to play with chicks on the farm. He is a very naughty dog. He likes chasing the chicks around. Now, what you need to do, you need to count how many chicks are ever playing with Bingo. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many chicks did we find? Six chicks. Now, may you please write the number six in the block right at the bottom of page 13. Well done. Thank you for today's lesson. I hope you have enjoyed yourselves. Now let's sanitize our hands and our little song, rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Rub, rub, rub your hands back inside and forth. Now your hands and mine are clean. We have sanitized. Now remember, boys and girls, to maintain your social distance and to always wear your mask before you go out. I wonder, where is Zoshi? It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Zoshi. Hi, everyone. My name is Shashi, I'm back, and you can always stay active throughout the lockdown. Uh, you can play with your friends, but keep your distance. Like me, my friend, yay! And you can also jog and sing to be active. Until next time, bye! Just when you thought the world's biggest sales promotion couldn't get any bigger, at ShopRite, we're starting the Black Friday action earlier. So you get extra days to shop for our best deals. This weekend only, get up to 50% off on products like two bricks of Rama Original, only $35. A bag of Mama's Classic Rice, just $20. Four Coke Soft Drinks, only $46. Oros Squash Concentrate, just $30. And 10 Right Brand Toilet Rolls only $28. Get these early Black Friday deals this Friday to Sunday only at ShopRite. Win free airtime with hashtag learn on one. Share your comments on the lessons. WhatsApp your feedback. Name and town to 081-200-6659. Hashtag learn on one. Invite learning in. I'm, feel, I'm feeling so bad because of you I have been arrested. We are trying to sell to provide our kids with food, but the police, they come to arrest us. I was literally apprehended in Independence Avenue. I mean, there was no prior communications with, uh, with the police or with Bonn or Ben and Namibia. These guys literally just apprehended us on surprise. And when you are talking in a manner that is exaggerated about brutality in this country, I should ask you in which country you live. Yes, I can confirm that uh, indeed there were two cell phones that were found after a search was conducted at the cells that the fish rod uh, accused us staying. Do you understand the amount of money that the government has spent on the fight against COVID-19? Could they have spent 300 million on tracing people and managing people? 
Is that even possible? Great combo deal from Choppies. Top score maize meal 10 kilograms, Buck Pro Fed Cook Flour 10 kilograms, Pulana Elbow 3 kilograms, Rice King 10 kilograms, Sugar King 5 kilograms, White or Brown Sugar and Pulana 1 kilogram spaghetti for only 499 million dollars 95 cents. Choppies, great value for your money. Southern Africa lies a vast and sparse land where endless horizons, dramatic scenery and untouched wilderness abound. One thousand five hundred kilometers of harsh desert coastline, a mosaic of biodiversity, sub-Saharan savanna, acacia bushland encased by two deserts. home to wildlife and wilderness abundant, yet ever at risk. This is Namibia, home to some of the most noteworthy conservation success stories across the globe. Initiatives forged, manned and driven by passionate individuals and groups. People are busy there uh, walking for more than 45 kilometers a day. Special species and 
wild locations and a constant threat from an increasingly destructive developing world. One of the world's you know, true survivors. This is the story of the Namibian wilderness. The stories of the enigmatic wildlife and natural wonders of her realm. They are not a, a, a threat to anyone, if you understand them. This is the story of those determined to preserve it, and thereby themselves. I don't think um, I want to tell my children one day that we had rhinos in Namibia. I want to show them live rhinos. This is the story of the last defenders. We have been trapped to them for that seven days, and on the seventh days, we, we come across the butchers, and uh, there was a shooting. We are not armed. We having a camera and GPS, we are just hiding behind the bushes. If I don't protect this uh, species, who's going to do that? So is that why I sacrificed my life to go on uh, conserve the rhinos? Armed out in the field with basically a notebook against poachers that are armed with highly dangerous weapons and more. How is this an equal fight? I, I start right on the ground as a trekker okay. and I worked all the way up to be the CEO now and I know how hard it is. It's commitment and dedication and the patience that you have for the animal. It's really hard. It's like you had something in your house that you are protecting for so long and when you go away from home somebody comes and kills you. Let's just